Hi guys, I'm back out on the Trent. Um, I'm hoping to, to catch a few barbel this evening um, and, and see how it goes. I've only got a couple of hours just until dark, um, but you never know, you've got to be in it to win it. And after a day at work, there's nothing better than a day's fishing. So um, fingers crossed we can catch some barbel. But if not, do you know what? It's nice to be out. I've got minimal tackle. We're just having a nice roam around. If I need to move, I can do. And it's looking perfect. The river's gone down low. The colour's starting to drop out. The fish are starting to move. The daffodils are starting to rise. Um, so it's a really, really hopeful time of year. And personally, spring is my favourite time of year when it comes to fishing, because they're just waking up, they're moving around, and they're actually starting to get a little bit more hungry. During this episode, I'm going to show you how I um, tie up a link leisure for chub fishing. Did it get any bigger? That is the question. These are all the items you'll need to make a link leisure. The real line I normally use for chub fishing is five pound hypersensor. For the purpose of this video, obviously I can't have my rod inside, so I'm gonna tie the link leisure straight from the spool. So there it is, five pound line. First things first. These are the end zone uh, float stops in small. Put them straight on. So, pull one on to start with. So that's one float stop on your line. Then you judge that with how long you want your hook link. I normally have it around two feet long. Next, move to the ends on feeder bead snap links. These are fantastic because you can use them um, with a little tiny link of line or also you can use them with a small weight clip straight onto it whichever you want your choice so there's the little yeah absolutely brilliant these are perfect for the job so there's your float stop and then Attach that and push that up to your stop. Okay. And then one more float stop. And there we are. As easy as that. So now, obviously, you attach your up. To the hook end. I tend to use um, big hooks, so for this you do need a big hook. And these are big size sixes, ultra sharp, beak point hook. So put that on. Oh, there's the loop. Put the loop over your hook, and then pull it tight. Easy as that. Boom. Your tag end off. And there you go. It's your link leisure made. There's your hook. And then down to there. And from this point, if you want, you can add a small piece of line and have some swan shot, some swan shot on, or you can put uh, weight directly to it, whichever is, whichever is easiest to you. And I prefer to use a fixed one when chubbing because for more direct contact. You can remove the weights if you like and put weight direct to the clip or you can add and remove as you wish on a short piece of line. Um, I prefer to use a short piece of line on this and then I can adjust my weight quickly just by adding and removing to one shot. It's time for me to pack up in a few minutes. Um, I've had one small barbel, I would say about four pound ish five pound i didn't weigh it i just slipped it back and then um, i've just had a lovely chub 
I've weighed this one and this is actually five pound and four ounce. Look at that. Even though I've come out for the barbel, I'll take that. That's a stunner. Lovely, lovely fish. And, it, and again, it just goes to show sometimes, um, like I was saying in the video previously, um, air rigging is also a really good method for chub. And the, the little trick I showed you with the armoured mesh and then using and air rigging the cheese paste rather than burying it in the oak can also get results like this. So I hope you enjoyed my little video of how to do the link measure. Have a go, let me know how you get on and hopefully you'll be able to catch some beauties like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.